This is Sarah Mikesell with The Pitch Site, and today we're online with Peter Schmid. He is the Global Program Manager for Feed Additives at Trow Nutrition. Peter brings 29 years of on-farm experience in the swine industry in the Netherlands, where he's based, and he's also traveled worldwide, working for feed additive companies and also as a consultant. So we look forward today hearing about your international experience, Peter. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, uh, Sarah. So today let's talk a little bit about edema and why uh, the industry continues to struggle with it. I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, well, good question actually, why? Um, in, in, in my opinion and experience, actually why is simply because we as an industry, we don't meet the needs of the piglets, in fact. Uh, um, it's quite easy said. What I mean with that is, if you look at oedema per se, what is it? Well, it's simply a fast overgrowth, microbial overgrowth of E. coli in the hindgut of the piglet. And the, the E. coli are producing toxins, uh, which are in fact uh, ultimately killing the piglet uh, in, in, in the worst case scenario. So key question actually would be, what is causing this microbial overgrowth? Uh, of E. coli especially. Um, and actually, there's multiple reasons for that. Uh, a very, very important one is that uh, what we do not realize is that the moment we wean the piglets, we are causing major stress and um, let's say expecting the piglets to perform, to grow, to achieve, um, whereas we're not meeting the needs. Uh, the piglet was used to sow's milk, uh, warm liquid feed uh, as such, uh, and all of a sudden the piglet is supposed to eat a dry feed, which it's not really used to, either in a pellet form uh, or uh, in a mesh form, but it's a completely different feed form of what a piglet is used to. Um, as well as you look at it from a nutritional basis, um, sow's milk, the vast majority of the energy is coming from fat, but very well emulsified fat. So the particles are so small that it can, you know, straight away be absorbed uh, and digested by the piglet. Um, also part of the energy will be from lactose. Where after weaning, uh, we expect the piglet to um, get its energy from starch, which is completely not used to also does not really have the enzyme production to digest such. Uh, from protein-wise, going from milk protein to vegetable protein. So it's huge changes for the piglets. On top of that, what we're doing, uh, we're taking it away from its mother, bringing it into a completely new environment um, with a lot of new piglets, other piglets that it does not know, and we expect it to eat and to grow. Well, the piglet's mindset will be different. It will first will be, hey, let's fight for dominance. Uh, um, what is the consequence that it will not eat? Um, and it, uh, it, it's very stressed. Um, and all in all, it might even take up to two days or even longer before it starts eating. Up till then, the uh, pH in the stomach uh, has gone up, is not low enough. So by the time it eats, it's very hungry. It will overconsume, and it will be lacking the acids to digest, as well as the enzymes, as I already mentioned before. So that combination, lack of acids, as well as lack of enzymes, uh, causes the feed not to be properly digested. It comes to the hindgut, and it's a great substrate for the E. coli to grow on. So give it a couple of days. Uh, typically, E. coli happens, uh, oedema happens five days, one week after weaning, and that's it. So uh, it, it's, let's say, our way of production, our management, that is causing the problem. Very good. And, and can you share a few tips for producers on how to prevent oedema? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, well, as I explained, uh, it is a combination of 
acidifying the stomach. That's number one where we can actually contribute. We can do a whole lot. Very often, let's say feed, piglet feed producers, they already acidify uh, the feed, which is great, but you can only go so far. Huh? We tend to like oranges, but we tend not to like to eat lemons. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, um, a piglet is drinking two, two and a half times more, eh, more than it's eating. So if we would apply a proper organic acid blend to the water, to the drinking water, we would greatly help the piglet uh, in keeping the pH in the stomach low. So that would be definitely my number one advice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Number two might be a bit more work for the farmers, but definitely worthwhile is um, to prepare, let's say three times a day, a warm porridge of the wiener feed, uh, which you can simply pour in an open bowl with a watering can in the lactation houses for the piglets. Yeah, so that next to the sow's milk, they already get accustomed uh, to the creep feed in a form similar to the, let's say to the sow's milk. And the first week after weaning, to continue with that. So that the, the, the changeover, first of all, is not as big, that's one. And second, um, the feed form uh, is, is similar and, and the, the, let's say the, the enzyme production is already started, uh, induced uh, during the lactation phase of, for instance, uh, MLAs and other enzymes. So that would be number two. And I'm, I'm quite aware that it's work for the farmer but it does pay off. Uh, you have a better uniformity of the piglets, uh, you have a higher weaning weight, and the piglets are much, much better prepared uh, for, the, for the weaning phase. So it's, 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 it's big wins. And third, and I'm quite convinced that that's a very good one, um, but also a bit unorthodox. Uh, if farmers, for instance, in the second half of lactation would take away the partitions, uh, um, between the sows or make a hatch that the piglets can interact when they're still with the sow. Uh, but that would mean that after weaning, uh, those piglets that already know each other, they don't fight for dominance anymore because they're used to each other. Uh, so that greatly relieves the stress on the piglets. Uh, they won't fight for dominance. So they have more focus on eating straight after weaning. And the last one, um, that would be first 48 hours after weaning, leave the lights on. Uh, we have seen in research that the moment you turn off the lights, they lay down, go to sleep, no activity, but that also means no feed intake. So you're prolonging, uh, let's say, the, the, the period uh, between weaning and the first meal. So I think those would be quite some practical things that a farmer can actually do uh, in order to solve this issue. Very and to meet good. each of the, of, of the piglets. Very good. Well, thank you so much. This is great information to share with producers. So we really appreciate your time today. You're welcome. My pleasure. This is Sarah Mike Solt with The Pig Site. Mm -hmm.